in Florida, I didn't really have too many friends because I was always involved in something, either singing or swimming. When I was a swimmer, I used to wake up at like 5 a.m. and go to practices, then go to school, then after school go back to swim practice, then after swim practice go to weights, and then after weights go to do homework and then do the same thing the next day. At one point I had to choose between one of the two, and that was singing. April and I are becoming best friends on this show. I don't really have a lot of friends, so definitely having April by my side is awesome. Even though it's a competition, I feel like I get to hang out with you and like feel like an actual 16-year-old. We make videos really immature, honestly, videos of us just being weird and being ourselves. Hey, guys, it's Macy and April, and we're in the center of LA. Nice we miss our internet friends. Thanks, I like them, too. <laughs> These past performances haven't been my best performances. I think it's the nerves catching up to me, and I just have to really let those go because I don't want to leave at all. The last kiss I'll cherish until we meet again. So through my hand, you showed me how you promised me you'd be around. Oh, that's right. I took your words and I believed in everything you said to me. Yeah, oh, that's right. Way to start with your Scottish ancestry with your kilt there. It's very, very nice. Um, let's start with the experts here. L Ludicrous, uh, I like the stars on you, by the way. It's very, very nice. Thank you, man. I'm Would a star. You... That's what I do. Oh, there yeah. you go. All right. <laughs> so literal. What did you think of Macy's performance? Um, I, I definitely liked it. I feel like you commanded the stage, and that's something I look for from a lot of the artists that get up here. I feel like some of the, you know, uh, some of the presence and some of the energy you could have done a little better with some of the notes, but for the most part, you got my yes vote because you commanded that stage. Right. Catherine? I actually agree with Ludacris. That doesn't happen often. Um, <laughs> I think that you were commanding the stage. You were awesome tonight. There are a couple notes that you need to be a little more careful of next time, but overall, I thought your performance was rad. Radical, dude. Rad. <laughs> Bodacious. Fred? Totally agree. I feel like Note-wise, you got to be a little more careful, and I know you know when you hit them a little bit off, but you have everything else. And in that sense, I'm not worried about the fact that you've got a little ways to go on that because we got, what, a couple more weeks? You can, you can fine-tune it as we go, and I think you're such a star. Thank you. All right, thank you, Macy. Stay right here for the moment. Competition, considering that I was the first West Coast aide, I am excited to be here. I have triumphed and I've conquered. 
but being away from my husband has been difficult. I'm so happy he got to come out and visit this week. I know you're here with me in spirit, <laughs> but I'm sometimes a baby, and I miss you a lot because you're like my biggest cheerleader. This is a very big accomplishment. I'm very proud. Very, very Thank proud. You. For real. He does everything for me to live out my dreams. I miss you big time. But I don't want you to come home no time soon. <laughs> you got to win the competition. <laughs> being a backup singer has been my bread and butter for quite some time. But being able to perform as my own artist and winning this competition would definitely be the ultimate dream for me. You've been behind me 1,000%. And I love you for <laughs> I love you too, Art. I don't want to be a doo-wop pop pop chick anymore. And this show is going to help me do that. Wonderful. That was great. Let's start with Kesha. You are not a background singer anymore, girlfriend. <laughs> that was amazing. You're amazing. I love you. Yes. Thank you. But you had excellent backup singers on that song, I must say. They were wonderful. <laughs> they were fantastic. All right, Ludacris. It, it started off a little shaky, but then you worked and you got the energy from the crowd towards the end. And I, I think it was a great song for your vocal expertise. But what I love the most was how you changed the arrangement of the song. Sometimes you'll get my yes vote just because you make it unique. Yeah. So I, I think you deserve a round of applause. Just you have done amazing things with the arrangements. Was that another one you did yourself or was that Ray in the band? It was a mix between. It was a mix between. Oh. <laughs> That's great. Brad. Your life watching an athlete because it's... In my opinion, it wasn't a perfect performance, but you bring to it sort of, it's sort of like you're going up for the layup, and it's like, I'll do this this time. And, and maybe you didn't nail it, but it's so much fun to watch, and you're such a star. I, uh, I don't know. I don't know what else to say except that you're great, and I want to see you keep going in this. Thank All right. You. Thank you, Brad. Congratulations, Shamir. We're going to see if your score keeps you in the top center throughout the rest of the night. But for now, go ahead and sit down in the blue chairs, the blue safety chairs. Best of luck. Quarterfinals plus... The one West Coast save. Check-in is now open for Joshua Peavy. Wrestling with Caleb and Alex, this is a normal thing. I am the last parent <laughs> uh, remaining on the show, and it has been extremely difficult. I have two boys, ages four and two. I have
haven't seen my kids in six weeks. If you're a parent, never been away from your kids, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But I'm happy to report, and so ecstatic, that this weekend my kids will be making a trip out to Los Angeles, and I'm more excited and happy about that than anything I have been in a really, really long time. Since I've been out in Los Angeles, you know, I'm a youth music pastor back home at our church, and our church is actually very active within the community, and so I hooked up with this organization to go out and give out just bags of food to these families who are struggling. Being able to do this really feeds my soul, man. <laughs> The first show, I did a, a ballad, and it was really responded well to, and, and the last show, I had done this the modern song that was kind of rocky and edgy. This week, I'm going to be doing Michael Bolton, How Am I Supposed to Live Without You? So if you're familiar with Michael Bolton or this song, you know it's going to take everything I got to pull this off. So hopefully you enjoy it, and you swipe right. during that commercial break. Holy crap! Um, we had a, uh, a sound issue, as you can probably tell. That's live TV. We are soundboard went down. We are back up. Your Bolton ch pulled the plug. It was it was insane. It was uh, all the baby making made it go down. But let's get right to our expert panel. Brad, you were the first to vote for Joshua. What are your thoughts? I love hearing you sing. First of all, I can barely hear because your little kids are saying hi, Daddy. Yelling, hi, Daddy. <laughs> and I, I think any issues that you had, like your weak start to me, the first few lines, as well as towards the end, you get that pitch, and I know what that is. You were looking at them, you were about to cry, weren't you? And I want to say, here's the thing. I saw the best quote online. A guy named Mike Delp, at Delp Diesel, wrote, he nailed a Bolton song, which is a feat into itself, and at Josh Groban's mic going out wasn't bad either. <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep going. You're so great. All right, moving right along, Kesha. So, okay, 
every time you perform, I forget how good you are. And this time it was like definitely the best you've ever done. And I think maybe it was your family and you just looked like you were going to cry and everybody else is going to cry. Thank you. So that was a really awesome performance. Thank you. So ludicrous. Appreciate I, I see the Holy Spirit in the church background coming out of you right now, which I love, you know. But um, I definitely love the fact of, I, again, how you use your family. I actually have my daughter in the audience. It's her birthday today. So I get the motivation from that and all that good stuff. So, you know, I just, I'm just proud of you, man. Every time you come here, you continue to do better and better. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see what's next. Josh, yeah. congratulations. We'll see if your score is enough to stay in the top seven throughout the night. But for now, go ahead and take a, take a seat. Give a final wave to your kids. America, if you want to download any of the songs from tonight, whatever device you have, you can download them through your app store. Okay, we've still got a bunch of performances to get to this evening. So keep your app fingers loose. America, check in right now for April Lockhart. This girl has so much exuberance. And maybe what she's had to go through in her life, but there's something that she brings to the stage every time she sings it's infectious. I think the best part about this whole thing for me is I get so many messages from people. Hi, hello. How are you? I'm doing really good. It's so good to meet you. <laughs> I don't see very many people like with disabilities going out there or anything like that. Then I see you did it and I was just like, well... Maybe I can. Oh my gosh. It's so surreal having someone tell you that, like, you're their inspiration or something like that. It's just, like, crazy. I've had people that I look up to that have really inspired me, and to be that for someone else is just, like, the coolest, most humbling thing in the world. It's an inspiring wheel of fortune. Sharing your heart with me and sharing your story, that means more to me than you'll ever know. And so this Sunday, when you see me do this and pat my heart, just know that's for you. Wow. <laughs> Getting through this next round means so much to me because all these people are calling me their inspiration. I don't want to let them down. Is it an eye with a heart on it? It's an iris. Oh, iris. <laughs> Good. All right. I have that tattoo on my hand. You have it on your hand. Look that at that. That's so cool. That's so not fair. Well, <laughs> Ludacris, let's start with you. Yeah, I see you left the guitar at home today. I did. And you I got did. up there, and I, I feel like. 
You say a lot of people motivate you, you motivate me. So I'm proud of you, and I think that you continue to do a great job on this show. Thank you. So I got to get <laughs> I'm, I'm curious to know how you felt about it. I was definitely a little nervous. Were you? A little nervous, for sure. Yeah, because I feel like that wasn't your strongest. No. But no. And I, when I saw that you were singing this today, I thought this is going to be fantastic. And it didn't quite meet that for me, yeah. but it was also really good. And, I, you know, there, I don't know if there's ever been a successful or any recording artist, for that matter, that has your specific disability, and it's time. It's time to have somebody like you on the way. Uh, it would be wonderful. It was, it was such a great time. I really appreciate it. Finishing off with your, your Iris soulmate. With your soulmate. Yeah. Um, you're just the cutest thing Thank on the earth. so much. Like you are. Oh, my gosh. I love you. I love but, you. <laughs> we're panning out a little bit. We are. Um, I thought, yeah, this song choice wasn't my favorite thing in the world, but I believe in you, and I believe in you as an artist, and you really inspire me. Like, as, out of everybody in this competition, like, you inspire me the most. Thank you so much. So I'm really proud of you. All right, Thank strong, you strong, positive words to everybody on the panel. Well done, April. Congratulations. We'll see if your score is enough to keep you in the top seven. But for now, go ahead and join your other uh, top seven. All right, take a look at the current leaderboard. Macy Cage is at the bottom. Joshua Peavy is right there at top, 85%. America, we're going to get right to our next performance. Go ahead and check in to vote for Manny Pat Malloy. And just getting this far, it's so incredible. I was so overwhelmed. She was incredible, and I'm so proud. My sister, she's my best friend, and she just gets so emotional on these shows. I'm just like, wow. <laughs> Money Pot, look at your family right here. That your sister's been crying. She's the best sister ever. We just hang out. I mean, I let her use my stuff, so sometimes, some stuff, not not everything. <laughs> when I was 15, my family and I moved to the U.S. just for me to pursue my dream. My family, my sister, they're so supportive. They've been doing everything for me, moving for me, and I just want to show them that I can do it and not let them down. You're like my best friend. Thank you, Naina. <laughs> I mean, just getting this far, it's so incredible. Like, I never thought I would have. And just to get through the next round would be even more incredible. And I just really, really, really hope I do. And I'll just do my best. Money pop.
Mark Malloy, 68%. Come on down. Who have you got here today? You brought your family with you? Yes. <laughs> Cheering squad, your sister and your mom and your dad? <laughs> yes. All right, cool. And uh, we'll start with you, Kesha. Okay, so from day one, you looked like you were going to literally die on stage. Yes. And then <laughs> to today is like such a huge difference in your performance. Like you commanded the stage in your eyes. There was fierceness. And I, I can see you definitely being a force to be reckoned with in the music business. Thank you, thank you so much. Ludacris may not agree. You voted no. I disagree with Kesha. Like, the only problem, I never had a problem with your voice. I love your voice, Manny Pat. And I think the first time you performed, you know, you were kind of, you didn't command the stage as much. The second time I voted yes, because I felt like you gave it more. This time I feel like you reverted back more to like the first time. So I love your voice. I just feel like I voted no because I don't feel like you commanded the stage the way that I wanted you to after giving you the advice and the experts, you know, advice that we gave so you. So it's more of an interpretive thing on your standpoint. Yeah, performance definitely, level. Definitely. Gotcha. Because right now we're we're getting more and more into, you know, closer and closer to the finals. And I feel like it's good, but I'm looking for excellent. I'm looking for great. And that's that's the only reason you didn't get my yes vote. You have a challenge. Fred. I voted yes purely for your vocals. I disagree with Kesha a little bit as you well. You don't think she's come a long way she since day come one. Long, she has come a long way. Since day one. But, and so I, but I voted yes. Give me a break. No, yeah. <laughs> the, the, the Ladies, is, you're both pretty. Come yeah, on. <laughs> No, I, I think that you have a long way to go as a performer, not as a singer necessarily. You actually, the one reason I voted yes was because you sang better than a lot of folks did tonight so far. I felt like nerves didn't get the best of you that way, but you got to work on the performance aspect of it. All right, Money Pot, congratulations. Some good, uh, good advice there tonight. We'll see if your score is enough to stay in the top seven for now. Go ahead and take a seat. Take a look at the current leaderboard. Up next, last week's West Coast save, Dana Williams sets out to prove she deserves a spot in the quarterfinals. And later, Austin French reveals why this was the biggest week of his entire life. You don't want to miss this. You're watching Rising Star live on ABC. Welcome back to Rising Star, my children. America, we tell you every week that you guys are the most important part of our show. So tonight... We want you to get on Twitter. Give us your song suggestions for next week. Wardrobe suggestions. Kesha's hair color suggestions. Tell us at hashtag Tell Rising Star, and we'll reveal some of your tweets later tonight. Remember, by the end of the night, we'll say goodbye to our bottom six performers. But one of those six will be saved by the West Coast. Right now, here's how the leaderboard stands. Keep the votes coming in, America. Check-in is now open for Dana Williams. The duel round was really nerve-wracking. Brad, it was a no from you. I don't know. I felt like you were rehearsing it, as opposed to performing it for everyone here. That's not But I was saved by the West Coast. Congratulations! It's just, like, the most amazing feeling that you could ever feel. <laughs> my mom and my sister have been very supportive of me. And actually, I think that they get a little more worried than I do. You get stomachy. <laughs> I know, you were so nervous because you're my little sister. Oh, I remember when she came home from high school with the guitar strapped to her back and my heart stopped and I made the sign of the cross and said, oh no, not another one. For the past two years, I have been working at an elementary school as an art teacher's assistant and also as a freelance guitar teacher. Three... I try and see what their interests are, and I try to apply it to a lesson so that we can have fun and jam out. <laughs> I see you this week just knocking them out. Knocking them out. You're a warrior.
60%. Come on down. I love that song. I love you singing that song. Such an interesting, cool arrangement of that song. It brought Kesha to her feet. You I love it. I just love you. I just love you. I'm such a fan of yours. Like, I want you to make the CD, and I want to buy it, and I want to listen to it in my car. Why don't you produce her? All right, maybe I will. <laughs> there aren't you. CDs anymore, I don't think, but even so, you'll make something for Kesha to listen to. Ludacris? You left the guitar at home this week. Um, I think last week, I remember that I wanted you to give a little bit more, and to, like tonight, I really feel like the eyes are the gateway to the soul. I feel like you touched a lot of people's souls, not only in this room, but at home tonight. All right? Thank you. So, I don't understand why it's only at 60%. Is it okay, Josh, for me to say that I'm mad at America right now? Is that okay? You say whatever you want. I'm, I'm mad at America. I want to give the vote okay. even higher, okay? So that's how I feel right now. You know, that's, that's a challenge to the West Coast because they have a say as well, and, and they I maybe will, yeah. will heed the call. They have to say one person. Right. I think you did amazing. I think you've improved, and I, I love that you keep, you continue to keep me guessing. That's what Thank I love. You. Yeah. All right. Thank you. So Ludacris only gets mad for the makeup sex, but still, <laughs> still. <laughs> Wait a second. That's, right, that's okay. I've oh, <laughs> <Brad. laughs> <laughs> okay. Let you get away with that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, okay. I just came back. back. Said, We're back. Um, I kind of feel like that was the worst possible song choice. But I do like you so much. I'm going to get. Hey, I'm going to get. Just because. Here's why. Here's why. Here's why. Sit down. Security. Here's why. It's because it just didn't really go anywhere, and we're trying. If the wall was down, I would have been worried for you. So I voted yes, and hopefully this is, and you'll stick around because I do think you're wonderful. Thank you. Okay, look into that. Okay, two very different opinions. I thought it was lovely. For now, you are still in the top seven. Congratulations. Go take a seat. We'll see how you do by the end of the night. Take a look at our current leaderboard. Up next, the folk rock performance from probably my future Broadway duet partner, Alice Lee, plus... It's do or die when the wall comes down for the first time and Jesse Kinch sets out to win your votes with a hit from the White Stripes. It's all coming up when Rising Star returns live on ABC. Welcome back to Rising Star, where tonight our top 13 performers are competing for seven spots in next week's quarterfinals, plus one additional West Coast save. All right, it's time for our next performance. Check-in is now open for Alice Lee. First of all, this show is really fun because my parents are having a blast. They've both been on national television, which is very exciting. <laughs> my parents moved over here to the States from South Korea, honestly, to live the American dream. It was really rough for them in the beginning. You know, they were in a new land with a new language, and so coming here and trying to make a life was not easy. And, you know, they did it. <laughs> My dad has a couple stores, and he's really been able to provide our family with everything we need. And I definitely want to succeed, like, partly for my parents. I really wouldn't be here without them if they didn't support me the way they did. But, you know, my parents always still tell me, you know, you still got to do it for you. I think that really helped me believe in myself because they believed in me. And, you know, I want to give back everything that they've given me and more.
I thought it was very nice. Thank you. Two out of three experts did not agree. Ludicrous, you're, you're shaking your head. You Man, listen, I, I, I don't think it was bad. I just think that, again, since we're in this round, we have to we have to be very critical. And I feel like the last time I voted yes for you, because I feel like you gave so much more stage performance and you kept a lot of control of your vocals. This time around, it wasn't as much stage performance, and there were still just a, a, some minor parts where I wish you would have done better vocally. So I feel like you wanted to focus more on the vocals. That's how it is. Hey, that's how I feel. That's fair. Kesha? Yeah. I voted yes. Okay. We didn't go through those. Oh, come on. That's cheap. I'm not a dream crusher. Don't hate on this. I'm not a dream crusher. I don't think that was necessarily the best song for tonight. And there were a couple of pitchy moments. And last time you performed, you were a beast. And tonight it was a little more tame, but you're not not worth a blue arrow. Okay. Yes. Not, not, not worth a blue arrow. <laughs> worth a red arrow to Brad. Did you agree with the criticisms that they both had? Yeah. Um, I felt like you need a few more days to get that right. You know what I mean? It felt like... Needed a little more rehearsal, needed a little more comfortability with the... Is yeah. this a new song for you? Um, kind of not really. I love the song. I've known it for a while. As far as performing it goes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, that's the thing. I can sense that. And I don't know. There was so much... There was a couple of pitch moments I couldn't just let go. Cool. All right. Okay. Well, the score is what the score is. The experts right. had their say. Thank you, Alice. Best of luck. <laughs> go ahead over right now. Things are about to get cutthroat. We've still got six more performances to go, which means from now on, if a performer's score isn't in the top seven, they are going home. Let's look at the leaderboard. Now that red seat is the hot seat. The hot seat is a very important seat because it's reserved for the lowest current score among the top seven, which right now, unfortunately, is you, Alice. You want to hold on to that seat for dear life because if our next performer beats your hot seat score of 40%, they will raise the wall, join the top seven, and you will be going home. The pressure is on.